Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Tuesday morning market webcast. Sorry I wasn't all over social yesterday. It was probably a welcome break for some of you, but um, just a ton of things going on yesterday. It was just a really busy day. It's kind of got away from me. Um, we'll be out a lot more. We'll get back to, to some more normalcy today. Um, the reality of this tape <clears throat> is that we are compressing like crazy. You can see it a little bit here on the daily chart. And basically, this is just one big four-day concentrated narrowing battle at 200-day moving averages. Whether you're talking about exponential moving averages, the 200-day exponential, 200-day simple, whether you're talking about the front month contract, whether you're talking about the continuation contract, it's all jammed up in about 10 handles between 2760 and 2770. And what's happening right now is the market is trying to decide whether this 200 day wants to be support or resistance. Historically, it should end up being support, but you know, nothing is every time. And if it becomes resistance, it's going to be a much different looking move into the end of the year. It's going to be weak. It's going to be all these things. And if it pops from here, really all that it could be doing is just heading back up, you know, doing, you know, we talk about lower band, middle band. You know, lower band, middle band, upper band, lower band, middle band, upper band. We just did upper band, middle band, lower band. Violently, but that's what we did. Um, you can see it here a little bit. You can see these ranges just narrowing. You can really get a flavor for it on the hourly chart. You can see the band starting to narrow, get narrower and narrower. Let me back out a little bit here. You can see the last compression expansion, compression, and I don't know. I don't know. Don't assume the direction of expansions. You get in trouble doing that stuff. Um, yesterday was a really whippy tape. It was really violent. It's one of these days where, I mean, I had, I had a 20 handle runner at the end of the day, about a 10 handle trade. Before that, it took a minus three and a half. Um, uh, we had some minus threes in the room. We had a bunch of plus fives. We were doing six handle moves this out of the other it ended up being a really solid day but it was a really violent day it was like great trade great trade you know you know get drilled great trade great trade great trade get drilled so you know it and that and that takes um that takes a psychological toll really more than it takes a a, a monetary toll i mean it was a green day it was a very green day in the room so over a 20 handle day in the room but it was done in a way that, you know, it just, you didn't feel like you were making any money because you just kept taking a hit and then you do great stuff and then the hit because you really only remember the hits. Um, so be careful trading in, the, it's not chop. I mean, it's compressed, but it's not chop, it's whip. It's one of these tapes, at least yesterday's tape was a tape that would go, you know, four or five against you and then 10 in your favor and then come back and stop you out. It was frustrating tape. And that's that's fine. If that's a price we have to pay for everything that happened back here, I will and in and, and here and all and all the great handles and stuff, I will I will gladly do my part. That's fine with me. Um, so I'll be interested to see what we end up with today. The parameters for whether we're going up or down remain the same. The, once the 200 day decides what it wants to be. If it's an up move, then the bulls are going to have to deal with weekly pivot there at 2794 and change, and they're going to have to convert it. That gets you up into the roundy at 2800. If it's a down break, then they need to make a new weekly low. That would be 45 quarter, and then you start to look at the rejection area uh, from bet the house last week from last Thursday at 271225. So. I might, you're, you're going, Mike, you're talking about stuff 50 handles up and 50 handles down. Yeah. I mean, welcome to volatility. I don't normally, and it's not me getting big picture. What I'm saying is you've got enough pent up compression here and that compression may continue through today. This doesn't have to happen today. It can happen tomorrow, Thursday, Friday. It can happen whenever the, whenever the tape damn well pleases. But when it does, it's going to move. So the trick is this. Don't overtrade this stuff. Don't anticipate one way or the other. Don't overtrade. There will be good opportunities today. Take them. You know, make your handles. When it decides to do what it's going to do, 
the handles will become looser, there will be opportunity. You're not gonna miss this move. There's so much fear of missing the move. This move really can't be missed. The only way you can miss the move is if you guess wrong and then be stubborn. If you do that, you'll blow up, okay? We could have just as easily gone up than down. Up or down, it didn't matter to me, okay? But once it started to go down, then the moves, you know, it became clear it was sell rallies and that you, know, you get into the flow of that and everything's fine. Could have just been easily been this, this buy dip thing, heading up into the stratosphere. This could be a ripper. It could be the start of some significant time below the 200. Let the tape figure that out. That's not our job. Our job is to trade it after it starts happening, okay? All right, everybody have a good morning. I will be out with a bunch of stuff on social. We'll do a midday update today. We'll do a... Um, We'll do a wrap up, we'll get some charts up, and um, we'll go from there. Take care, talk to you then, trade them well. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook, and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.